So I'm part of the great class of 1989. I work at Vaden Health Center as part of the iThrive Health Promotion Services team. So iThrive basically helps Stanford students to be healthy and happy. And so we teach all, kind, all manner of skills related to how to avoid risks like drinking too much alcohol or dealing with issues around sexual assault and what have you, um, but from an educational prevention uh, perspective. And also we teach courses on happiness and uh, relationships, all kinds of things. I teach the art and science of healing, health, and happiness. It's about, um, well, three things. So one is to um, find intrinsic motivation, really to, there's so many reasons to do stuff for your parents and for the world and, and to be excellent and all these things. But I think the bottom line is that if it doesn't come from within, it's not gonna be something that's sustainable and, and give a person that happiness. And also they need to take breaks. I mean, we're not superhuman, and especially with all the screens, people are staying up too late, they're not sleeping enough, they're not taking breaks during winter break, during summer break, during spring break. So taking breaks. And then, um, and also, you know, ultimately people are the reason that we're happy. And so amidst all the busyness, finding time to connect with and maintain uh, relationships and to build uh, your, your social, uh, infrastructure uh, for, for now and for the future. Right? And students don't necessarily value that. They're like, well, I have work to do, so my friends and family come last. And that's not necessarily a good perspective. The way I look at it is that um, we're gonna produce a lot of powerful leaders here. And when powerful leaders, uh, as we know, are suffering and, and doing damage internally, they're gonna, they're gonna spread that damage into the world. Uh, with with fear-based motivations, with clinging to things, with hoarding behaviors. And so the more that our students can be as healed as they can be pos as possible and come from positive motivations, positive psychology, positive emotions, they're going to go out in the world and hopefully be excited to, 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 to make changes that are positive. So, so yeah, I mean, whether it's in the classroom, in the, in the courses that we teach, or over dinner uh, talking to the students, or whether it's one-on-one -on -one in my office, I, I feel like I'm helping those students who are going to be the future leaders go out and change the world.